Future Metro Boomin. We still don't trust you. This album is definitely for the girls. Drake, for all the dogs, this is for all the girls. It's an R&B album. I'm going to be honest, R&B future is not my favorite type of future. But still, we got a different type of future. It's more future in a different way. Now, we got these dudes out here teaming up against Drake. Even J. Cole getting that J. Cole feature on this album. Just the way of him saying, I have no side, put me on there, I'm neutral. It's the most neutral thing J. Cole could have done. Doesn't care. ASAP Rocky sent shots. The weekend still, every time I hear him on these albums, his features have felt like they've been out of spite. They're good features. Even on this album, he sent direct shots. He said, I'm glad I never saw my life away, which is true. That's the best thing he could have done. And I knew way back then, there was talks of him signing to Drake's label. On the surface, it sounds cool. It's not a good idea. Just like how Four Bats has signed to Drake. Sounds cool. Not a good idea. Look at Drake's other artists. That's a different video, though. I like We Don't Trust You better. We Still Don't Trust You is cool. This is more of an album. It's for the girls. There's some bangers, though. That song, This Sunday. I love that song. I recorded that in 2015, and he's got the Drake Feel No Ways hook on there, which Drake put on Views 2016. Future got writing credits on that song because he made this song, and then Drake must have heard this in the studio or something like, yo, let me use this. And that's why Future never put it out until now. So definitely done out of spite. I love it. It's got a raw quality to it, like an authentic, genuine, raw type quality to that song. I love that song. I love hearing that in music. I like how it's not too much editing. Probably a lot of reverb on there, but that's about it. The ASAP Rocky feature, crazy. Those were definitely direct shots. He wilded out. He said what everybody all knew and forgot about, apparently. Yeah, he was with Drake's baby moms before or around the same time Drake was and conceived Adonis. Little baby feature. But think of any little baby song. Think of any little baby verse. And that's the exact verse you're gonna hear on this future album. Little baby is just another da baby. All these babies are the same. The flow doesn't change up. It was my first spin so far from last night until this morning in the gym. It wasn't until this morning lifting weights I realized it's not really a gym type of album. We got Future doing the singing thing. I could respect that about Future. The ideas are there, obviously, but even since that 2017 album, Hendrix, I've said, I've always said, R&B Future is just an idea. This dude can't sing. Future can't sing, but he's got melodies and really good ideas. From what he does with his voice, you hear yelps. You hear him doing some pitch shifting up and down in his voice. Or doing like a regular thing and then going down low with it a little bit like what Cardi's doing, except Cardi maintains and he's not singing. It's definitely good ideas, but it's definitely more of an emotional kind of soft type of vibe. A lot of people love that future, but it's not for me. Though I can appreciate the ideas. And the beats are crazy. Metro Boomin went crazy on this album, as well as the last one. Another thing with this album is that he made it like a double album with the last seven tracks being not R&B-like. Definitely hear a shift in atmosphere when you get to the last seven songs. It goes back to regular future, like regular trap, future going in, none of that singing. Majority of this album is an RB future, an emotional future. Anyway, that's my thoughts on that. I end this off by saying, if you can't sing, still do the thing, just give it a nice ring. That's it.